Let's look for the key term. We're starting with endothermic reaction. Who can tell me what an endothermic reaction is? By day, David DeWitt teaches middle school science. Five classes, 126 total students, five days a week. His instruction is designed to meet the needs of all learners. And EXO. By night, David and his Luther Jackson middle school colleagues are students. They're learning to unwrap standards. So you're opening up the standard, you're looking at the benchmarks, the indicators, and then you're also looking at all of the other notes that are in the program of studies that can offer teachers insight into what to teach and what students need to learn. This is really when you want to go into great detail. You do not have to do this with all standards. This is really when we talked about when you have identified a standard based on data that you're really having trouble with, when you are new to the content, we talked about your new teachers. And our students always have trouble with um, why does the president get to do certain things and the judicial, judicial branch does something else. The objective for tonight for unpacking was really to um, frame it as this is something you would do with your collaborative team and then to also include alignment so that you're talking about unpacking as something that fits into curriculum instruction and assessment, all of those three pieces together. And then after that, do the indicators. We developed a graphic organizer to capture the steps of unwrapping the standard. But really, first of all, they're looking for the verbs, and that's really the task or the language function. So the standard says the student will investigate and understand the organization and use of the periodic table of elements to obtain information. So the first two verbs are investigate and understand. Solve, make use of, model, some of the key words we use in science when we talk about investigating the topic. Then they're looking for the content stem, the nouns that are involved. The periodic table of elements. As a science teacher, I know that content language, the science vocab, is going to be difficult. But before this class, I assumed if I told kids to compare and contrast or differentiate between, that they understood what that meant. Now we're doing two actions here when we're comparing and contrasting. What does it mean to compare? They both had some Today we were looking at endothermic, today. exothermic, Very reactions, good. some of those terms that are more specific to the subject I teach. Academic language is something that's more universal across the different subjects, uh, but it's still important that the students know what are we being asked to do. Several of our students, especially those who English is not their first language, might not have any clue what I'm asking them. So I am going to assume as a teacher that the student doesn't understand the content when really they didn't understand the question. The content stem is Several teachers say, I, I already do this. I know what the standard is asking the students to do. What I learned as the, the most important reason we unwrap standards is because we actually have to go beyond what do the students need to know and we actually have to determine how are we going to teach this to the students. Those are some very common examples that you've learned about. Respiration, where your body absorbs the energy. Photosynthesis, where you release the energy. Student achievement would increase because what was happening in the classroom was so closely aligned to what the standards were, what the skills were, and that everything was planned out in a really orderly, um, pre-thought-out fashion. Ah, pot is cold!